Hi everyone! Did you remember that holographic Pokemon cards that we always wanted when we were kids? Now these rare items right now came with a high price tag and the risk of being stolen. Now imagine if these items were going to be digitalized. It is much easier to duplicate them and get them stolen, right? Now right now in this video, we are going to talk about the non-fungible tokens and how they became the solution to this problem. This is Stock Market Now. Before we continue, do make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up so that we can create more informational and educational videos for you to consume. With that said, let's get right into the video. During the year 2017, this company that's named Axiom Zen released a game in the Ethereum chain that's called CryptoKitties. Now this game allows the players to buy, collect, breed, and sell virtual kittens. Now the individual digital kitten was uniquely owned by a user and the value of the kittens was dependent on the market. Now each kitten was not allowed to be duplicated or be transferred without the permission of the owner. Each transaction made with the kittens was verified through the blockchain. Now this game went through the roof and the total amount that the users of this game spend was about $7 million. Now based on the New York Times, a single crypto kitty sold for $140,000 and had an average price of $25 each. Now this concept gave birth to the non-fungible tokens or NFTs. Now these tokens are used in creating digital assets, and those digital assets are very unique and very scarce. NFTs are not interchangeable, and it is considered as a representation of an asset. Now to make this much more simpler, just imagine if you have 10 Pokemon digital cards, and we are going to turn these cards into NFTs by minting 10 separate tokens for each Charizard, and whoever owns the private key to each token is considered to be the owner of the digital Pokemon cards. Counterfeits can be exposed directly because of the blockchain consensus. The gaming industry and the art industry are considered to have a strong use of these NFTs in the future. You spend hours and hours mining that gold on the world of Warcraft and now you can buy that chromatic gold that you always have wanted and then you can mint an NFT token on that sword and NFTs can be sold for thousands and thousands of dollars. Now this can also apply to art. You can create digital art and mint it and create an NFT. Then you can also sell that for thousands of thousands of dollars. Now CryptoKitty is an example of the successful usage of NFTs. This platform called Engine also enables you to mint NFTs and it allows users gamers to trade. This platform that's called BitAI Art also allows people to invest in art that has been tokenized. Now even though NFTs are in their rising stage, we can see a good future for NFTs. These tokens are different from regular tokens because their contracts make them non-fungible. Now the contracts right now that are used in NFTs are ERC721, ERC1155, and ERC998. Know what you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. But before you go, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up. This is Stock Market Now. We'll see you in the next video.